Danny. Hey, Guy Danielson. You. You look different yeah. at that meeting. Well, you know. So the other night, you said that you thought the, uh, the modern world was a Jewish disease. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Uh, in the movement, this racialist movement, we believe there's a hierarchy of races, you know. Whites at the top, blacks at the bottom, Asians, Arabs, Latins, somewhere in between. Why are you writing this down if you're recording it? Uh, it helps me concentrate. Uh, Danny, what about the Jews? Jews? Judaism? It's like a sickness. How is Judaism a sickness? Take sexuality. Sexuality? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? You ever fuck a Jewish girl? What? Did you ever fuck one? Well, yeah, you know, I mean, I mean I've, I've, I've been out with a Jew. There you go. What did you notice? Like what? Jewish girls love to give head. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. I don't know. Is that right? And Jewish men love to get it. Everybody likes to get it. Yes, it's very pleasurable, but Jews are obsessed with it. You want to know why? Yes, why? Because a Jew's essentially female. Female? Yeah. Real men, white, Christian men, we fuck a woman, we make her come with our cocks. But a Jew doesn't like to penetrate and thrust. He can't assert himself in that way, so he resorts to these perversions. Oral well, sex is technically a perversion, you know that, right? Yeah. So that's why after a woman's been with a Jewish man, she's ruined. She never wants to be with a normal partner again. So the Jew's a better lover. Well, he's not better. That's not what I said. I said he gives pleasure. That's actually a weakness. All right, so it's not that the, uh, the Jew runs the media or that he owns all the banks. It's that they're Look, sexually no, no. corrupt. The Jews clearly control the media and the banks, investment banks, not the commercial ones, but the point is they carry out in those realms the exact same principles that they display in sexuality. They undermine traditional life and they deracinate society. Deracinate. Tear out the roots. A real people derives its genius from the land, from the sun, from the sea, from the soil, you know? This is how they know themselves. But, like, Jews don't even have soil. Yes, Israel. Those aren't Jews. Of course they're Jews. Notice the Israelis. It's a fundamentally secular society. They no longer need Judaism because they have soil. Because the real Jew is a wanderer. He's a nomad. He's got no roots and no attachments. So he universalizes everything. He can't hammer a nail or plow a field. All he can do is buy and sell and invest capital and manipulate markets. And you know, it's like all mental. He takes a life of a people that's rooted in soil, and then he turns it into this cosmopolitan culture based on books and numbers and ideas. And, uh, you know, this is his strength. You can take the greatest Jewish minds ever. Marx, Freud, Einstein, what have they given us? Communism, infantile sexuality, and the atom bomb. In the mere three centuries, it's taken these people to emerge from the ghettos of Europe. They've ripped us out of a world of order and reason. They've thrown us into a chaos of class warfare, irrational urges, relativity, into a world where now the very existence of matter and meaning is in question. Why? Because it's the deepest impulse of a Jewish soul to pull at the very fabric of life till there's nothing left but a thread. They want nothing but nothingness. Nothingness without end. Wow. Danny, this is great. You're incredibly articulate. But one thing, how can you believe all of this when, when you're a Jew yourself? Excuse me? Do you know a, a rabbi, Stanley Nadelman? He was at the congregation Ohev Zedek. Who? How would I know him? He said you were a bar mitzvah there and March of 1988. He said, and you believe that? And you call yourself a real reporter? Okay, so you're, you're saying that that's not true. Do I look Jewish to you? Look at this. Were you ever bar mitzvahed anywhere else? Do you have any idea who you're fucking with here? No. Who am I fucking with here? Not a, not a what? 
Fuck you. Why would Nadelman lie to me? To discredit me. Yeah. I know who they are. I already explained this to you, guy. These people can say and do anything, and they will. It's all narrative. Are you gonna put what he said in your paper? Well, give me a reason not to. Because it's slander. Because it's reckless disregard. Because I'm gonna sue your fucking Jew paper, that's why. So you're denying that what he said is true? Yes or no? All right, you know, take it easy. Hey. Look at me, guy. Oh, no, you can't even look at me now, right? Oh, damn it. Please, don't. You put that in the New York Times, guy. Oh. Oh. And I'm gonna kill myself. Hey, Avi, go ask Randall Springer to come and...